Phil Spencer of Xbox admits who his true competitors are. And console fanboys aren't going to like it. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because y'all know the deal. Y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. Um, As I've always said, I may not know everything, and that's okay, because really nobody knows everything, right? Um, but it's always in everyone's best interest to wake up and look for what they could learn. You can only grow as a person, okay? Never stagnate yourself and, and think that you know it all. This armchair quarterback mantra that people live with like they know everything without even experiencing it or or deep diving into it that's what becomes stale um as far as your growth is concerned and in the advent of the internet where people are so much like that and they pass on that mind state through the internet to millions of people it only just makes matters worse and when things like this happen people's jaws drop jaws drop when they when they should you know what i'm saying so here's here's what i'm talking about okay let me do this here all right so you see that tweet there it's from the homie tom warren you know i love tom warren like i said me and him used to do potato sack races back in the days children no i'm lying with that being said he comes out with a tweet microsoft's xbox boss says amazon and google are the main competitors going forward not sony or nintendo Spencer's acknowledged Amazon and Google in the past, but it's clear Microsoft now sees them as a threat to Xbox details. And then it'll lead you to the Verge article uh, where, uh, let me see, Spencer has, this is part of the article. Spencer has previously discussed the threat of Amazon and Google as competitors, but not in such clear terms. He has also previously stated that Microsoft's gaming business isn't how many consoles you sell, and he acknowledges this further by noting that Microsoft isn't interested in getting into a, a future format war with Nintendo and Sony. I don't want to be in a fight over format wars while those guys at Amazon and Google are focused on how to get gaming to 7 billion people around the world. He also says something interesting up here. Um... He says, when you talk about Nintendo and Sony, we have a ton of respect for them, Spencer says, but we see Amazon and Google as the main competitors going forward. That's not to disrespect Nintendo and Sony, but the traditional gaming companies are somewhat out of position. I guess they could try to recreate Azure, but we've invested tens of billions of dollars in cloud over the years. All right, so here's basically what is being said here. Um, what's being said is something that I've been telling you guys for over a year and like I kicked off this video I did it the nice way but I'm going to say all that to say this I don't like stupid stuff that's why a lot of times I get animated I don't like stupid stuff and I don't like stupidity what is the stupid stuff and the stupidity that I'm talking about I'm talking about when people don't want to grow in knowledge and take heed to just reasonable and, and, and very transparent things that are happening before them. Okay. People have these knee jerk reactions. I don't like cloud gaming. Cloud gaming has to fail. Stadia is failing. Even though this is the richest company in the world. They're making invest investments and they have stats to show that this is a $300 billion industry by 2025. They're not leaving that money on the table against their main competitor, Xbox that's or Microsoft that's going heavily towards that. That's idiotic to believe that. It's stupid. It's stupidity. Okay. Um, and the simple fact that when you see Microsoft do what they did at Dice, my homie P-Rock had to show me, and, and then midst of our heat is battle. I mean, our heart is in the midst of the heat of our battle, rather, right? He showed me. Microsoft ain't thinking about PlayStation anymore. They've bowed out. When they were at Dice and they praised the PlayStation catalog more than their own. They're looking 
to be competitors in this cloud space. However, they've realized looking at NVIDIA, looking at Shadow, and looking at Google, they've realized that they're leagues behind like I've been telling you. And then I had to come out and show you when the idiot herd came out there and put out false narratives. So, take heed. You don't want to listen to MM2K? Fine. Be a dummy. Because it's not that I'm making up these facts. The facts are the facts, whether I tell them or not. Take it from Tom. My buddy Tom Warren. From The Verge. From Phil Spencer's mouth himself. Okay? They're focused on cloud gaming but they realize that they're nowhere near performance wise where their competitors are especially at the advent of nvidia being released and they're performing well they realize they got a long way to go so because of that that's a perfect segue to my next point feels flip-flop in nature okay it was not too long ago well, let, let, let me scroll up a little bit. I think this was a December article. Perfect. 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 Let me see here. Bear with me. This was December 21st. So, um, a little bit over a month ago. Well, what did Phil Spencer say here? He says, despite the optimism surrounding the technology, which is cloud gaming, Spencer acknowledges that it's still years of community feedback from maturation and that it still falls short of the experience players get when their game is local. The best place to play is locally. I say that flat out. He says, streaming is a technology of convenience. It's a technology of choice when you're away from your console and you want to play. So, you have what we just talked about with who Phil's main competitors are. Perfect. You have this statement where Phil is trying to paint with a broad brush the usefulness of cloud gaming. But really what he's saying in factuality, but he's without being so transparent, is that their cloud technology is years away. And their cloud technology is only good from when you're away from the console. Not cloud technology as a whole, but he can't say that you know, openly because then that diminishes the product further. So they are going bees to the knees in regards to getting their product up to par to Google, to whatever Amazon's coming out with, to even NVIDIA, okay? So for those of you that had to doubt what, I, that doubted what I was saying, what, when I didn't own the facts, I was just repeating them. The, oh, Xbox ain't thinking about cloud game. Cloud gaming is dead. And I told y'all don't think. X, I just told y'all a couple videos ago. Xbox don't think like y'all. Okay? Because of the moves that they're making. And now that you got this egg on your face that you can fry several omelets with. My question then is to you as a community. When are you going to get out of your stupid lanes? And when are you going to start listening to facts? Because until we start listening to facts and we start acting on facts, then gaming can't grow. Then we can't see everything from 5,000 feet. When you live in your own little silo, your own little bubble, and you don't pay attention to the things that are coming out here, then we don't we, we don't become the stewards uh, of, of responsibility versus these companies to make gaming grow. If you're lost in the sauce, how can you how can you hold anybody's feet to the fire? So recognize what it is. And me, even though I am a fan of cloud gaming's prospects, I don't want cloud gaming to, to replace dedicated devices. That's silly. That's stupid. Of course not. I don't want it to replace dedicated devices. All I'm simply saying is even if you're not a fan of cloud gaming, be in the know, okay? Be knowledgeable of this stuff. And being knowledgeable of this and knowing the facts doesn't mean that you support it. Like for instance, a tornado watcher, they don't want to get caught up in the eye of the tornado, but they want to let everybody know that the, the, the mammy jammy's coming. So be in the know. Do your goddamn on research. Get your facts together. Again, like I've told you several videos ago when y'all were hucking and chucking, Microsoft is solely focused on Google and Amazon. 
because that's who they see their competitors are. Despite what a young Ye says in the video or a Dreamcast guy with his ashy hats, who cares what they think or what they say? The people with the stats, the people with the money know what's coming down the pipe. And they're paying attention to, to, to facts and they're about to do some things that are going to make your jaws drop even further if you don't get in the know. And that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and the Stadia Dosa. And with that being said, I need to give y'all these coming to Jesus speeches. But y'all need them every now and again. <laughs> with that said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.